1963 Impala SS Convertible Restoration. This is part 16. Hit that notification bell, like, and subscribe. Okay, here's where we finished off on the last video. Now we have the upper trunk deck installed. We've already worked out all the issues on the rebuilding the inner and outer wheelhouses. We've got the left and right quarter panels set into place, finished out. And we're going to be installing this lower trunk pan and the left and right trunk drops. Okay, here we go. We're going to get that thing set into place. And there it is. Now we're going to maneuver it into place. And I've already done that. I've got it on the rear just held into place with set screws. Now I've already addressed the leading edge with plug wells and finished that out. If you have any questions or want to see any uh, videos on anything that's not covered in this video on the trunk pan, go here. Okay, we are going to be working on installing what well, we're prepping right now for the left hand trunk drop. We're installing the plug wells, or we're installing the holes for the plug wells. Okay, now this is the right side. You can see the holes that have been uh, installed already on the top side of the trunk pan. Now that's the shot of it without the trunk drop. We're moving over to the left side. I've already cut, prepped, mocked into place and set with set screws the left side and you can see the fit that we have and the gap you always want to make sure there's a little bit of a gap there between the uh, trunk drop and the quarter panel now I'll tell you where where everything is won and lost the clamps are just to hold it in place while we weld to hold the metal tightly in place while we melt so well so nothing moves you can see on the flanges there's not a lot of hammer marks it's not bent up the fit is everything we want we want the two panels that we're going to weld together to lay together like a blanket on a sheet on a bed we don't want to have to force anything and if you do that, you do the prep correctly, you're going to get really nice results. Okay, you know what we do here. Uh, mini blaster. Now, this is just regular sand that I've got in here. And we're going to be removing some material from around the quarter panel and the... Uh, place where we're going to be welding and why that's important I see a lot of guys grind the back sides but we want the EDP coat or weld through primer or something always has to be in between two pieces of metal that are sandwiched otherwise it's a place where rust is going to start we don't want that Doing it this way minimizes the amount of coating that we have to remove. Now, all of this, after it's all said and done, is going to be seam sealed also. Now, you can see what I was talking about. All of the flanges and everything are really nice, straight. They're sandwiched together nice. Yeah, this is going to turn out really nice for the customer. That's what we want. We want to do above average work. Yeah, this, is, this isn't this is just an average uh, shop. It's not a body shop. This is a craftsman shop. We want to do the highest quality work possible. When somebody looks at this car later, we want them to really struggle to figure out if anything's been done and what's been done. Okay, so really important to get all of this sand out of here. You can see it dumped quite a bit. 
but we want to blow that out nicely. We don't want a, a granule of sand in there as soon as we initiate the arc. Yeah, that's going to cause a bunch of problems. Don't want that. There's a shot of that. Hey, we're prepped. We're ready to go. Let's see what all that prep work is good for. Okay, you can see the types of wells, plug wells that we're achieving now. Fit, prep, set up, get everything going your way. And you should be able to get predictable results. Okay, so now we're going to come back and remove those screws after we get this little spot done here. So instead of beating this down with a hammer, which will do no good, we're just going to push on it. We've already got uh, some welds in place. That's what you do. Yeah, just because we have set screws in there doesn't mean we can just take off after every weld. You want to make sure it's still tight before you hit that next weld. Yeah, the biggest thing with this and doing really nice work, it's always paying attention. Yeah, it's, this isn't just some mindless stuff where you, yeah, it looks okay, take off. No, you want to, you got to stay on top of it. Uh, if any problems, catch them early. And yeah, that takes time. Okay, so here we're going to remove all of our little set screws. Finish out those uh, holes with plug wells. Come back and get this dressed down and finished out. Okay, so I've got a little flat disc, and this is probably like 60 grit on here. And it, the wheel's just just the right size to fit down in that little groove, so we got lucky on that. We we're able to get a nice flat run on that. And I mean, you, with minimum work, you can see we've dressed down the uh, plug wells. And now we've got a uh, probably 80 grit. And we're just going to blend that metal in, man. Yeah. Make it really nice. And you can come back over this with like 220 also. But we're going to finish off with Scotch Bright in the surrounding areas. Because this is bare steel. We're still working on this car. So we're going to have to apply something. Here in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Things can rust pretty fast. Depending on what time of year it is. And because I don't like doing a sloppy job. This doesn't take that much extra time or material. We're just going to mask this off. Everything in the surrounding area has been prepped. And we're going to just apply a little bit of aerosol sandable primer to this area. If you apply primer, make sure that it is sandable of good quality. And so now we're going to button up that bottom side. Yeah, this car is going to be really, really nice. Can't wait for the final video to show everybody. Now we're going to go back with this car. The customer, he wants to uh, stick with the 
original red. That's what we're going to be doing. And he's indicated this is going to be a really stock, stock type uh, restoration. We're going to accommodate that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's finish out this brace. To uh, trunk drop. You can call it a trunk extension. Whatever you like. And once we get the seam sealer in here, Man, it's going to look spectacular. It'll, it'll look really, really good. And as always, we come back, we prep everything. And if you do this as you go, it is so much easier than just doing all the metal work and then coming back. That's how things get missed. Do one thing at a time, from point A to Z, however many steps that is, finish that off, move on. Okay, now this is the lower trunk or lower uh, quarter panel attachment to the lower section of the trunk drop. You can see we're getting really nice weld. And let me tell you, it's not that I'm such a great welder, it's in the fit up and the prep. I do okay, but uh, definitely, yeah, in the fit up and prep. Now you can see, man, we, all, we don't need to touch that very much. We're just knocking off the very tops. We don't want to gouge, make a little valley in that metal. Otherwise, you're going to see that after uh, after it's painted. Yeah, we're not. That's, you're not going to see it on this one. That's turning out really nice, beautiful. And again with the flap wheel. Yeah, look at that. That's uh sometimes you get lucky with the flap wheel. I mean, yeah, it just fits right in there. Some places you can't get to. And it's a little more challenging. It's really nice we can just run through that thing. See all those little particles flying? That's why you always wear your PPE, your mask, uh, and I use a, I'm wearing a half mask here, but it has like 2097, that's a particulate filter that has an odor arrester, otherwise if you just use a, like a 2091 filter, their pink filter round, then you'll get all of that smell, yeah, you don't want that. Invest in uh, quality protection. I have a, a UVEX uh, full face mask and ear protection. Let's see what we've got. All the wells are dressed down. We don't have a lot of damage in past where we worked. Now that little hole that you saw, that was something that contam got a contaminant or something in the uh, well puddle, but that's of no consequence. That has no bearing at all. That'll be uh, filled in with a little bit of filler or a uh, uh, primer will probably take care of it. And we're just doing a really light coat, just enough to hold it. And then we're going to come back with real primer. Hey. You ready for the next one? Thanks for watching.